Good morning, Eagles. I'm Haley. And I'm Olivia. On today's show, we'll be talking about Spirit Week, the life of a GJ student, athletes, and how sports injuries can affect them. Stay tuned because ENN starts right, right now. Uh, Haley, why are you dressed like that? Oh, sorry, I'm just super excited for tomorrow's pep rally and homecoming game. Well, out of this world day was Tuesday, so you missed that, but Natalie and Emily can help you be less confused. Uh, how did you... Never mind. Well, see, I changed super quick and I think I might have twisted my ankle, but it's okay. At least you didn't uh, tear your ACL or something. You're right. Aren't those super common in sports injuries? Yes, and Ian is here to explain how they can affect all students. Hello Eagles, I'm Ian Higginbotham and I'm reporting on the campus of George Jenkins High School. In today's report, we'll be discussing important matters on injuries within several of the sports played here at GJ. Football, track, and wrestling are just a few of the sports that cause common accidental harm. In this segment, students will be interviewed, each sharing their own story about how affecting sports injuries can be. One of these students is Freddie Carter, a GJ football athlete who's recently obtained an injury of the knee and is present today to speak more about it. Uh, I got this injury from a uh, football game uh, against Lakeland, and I got hit helmet to helmet after I caught the ball, and someone dove their helmet into the back of my knee. and. I think it'll have a lot of impact on how I play uh, to the level that I play at. I feel like I won't be the same when I come back, which is kind of sad, but it is what it is, I guess. I'm Alyssa and I play basketball. A common injury in basketball is ACL and meniscus tear. It didn't happen to me, but my friend, she tore her ACL when she was playing defense and she went to change directions to follow behind the person on offense and she tore her ACL. Whenever you tear your ACL and meniscus, you're often out for a year, so it can definitely make somebody scared to come back and start playing basketball again. According to StopSportsInjuries.org, high school athletes account for 2 million injuries, 500,000 doctor visits, and 30,000 hospitalizations each year. This is compelling information that encourages many high school athletes to stay safe out on the field. I'm Ian Higginbotham, signing off from ENN. Wow, an injury can really ruin an athlete's career. And I didn't realize how many student athletes we have here at Jenkins. I know, but if you think about it, they're really not all that different from any other student here at GJ, and they love showing off their school spirit. Students can show their school spirit by buying their class shirt from their teacher sponsors. Freshman shirts will be sold in room 19222, as well as sophomore shirts in room 1221. Junior shirts are in 1215, and senior shirts are in 1216 payable for cash or check for $10. I always have so much to do on campus. I just wonder how every other student's day is. Good morning, Eagles. It's currently 6.30 in the morning and I'm at school already and I'm just waiting for first period to start. It's honestly an exciting time during the year. I mean, homecoming is coming up and Spirit Week is this week. So I'm gonna head on over to AP World History and show you guys what being a GJ student is really like. So I just got out of AP World History and we took some lecture notes on the classical era and Asian dynasties. I'll see you later. This is one of the pieces that I came up with. It's kind of creepy, but I'm kind of into it. This is my video class. This is my absolute favorite class. I love this place. This is the one place that I get to be myself and truly be creative.
So I'm out in the parking lot and I'm waiting for my friend to show up because he takes me to work and I only work a two hour shift because child labor laws, but I do have to get home and unpack and there's just a lot to do, but I'm gonna have to get up tomorrow and I'm gonna do it all over again. I'll see you guys later, Brianna, signing out. That seems pretty accurate. Same for me, but since I play soccer, my schedule is a tad bit different. Oh, so you think you're cool. No, I'm just saying student athletes have a little bit different schedule. What's so different about an athlete's life compared to an average student? What's it like being a student athlete? It's tiring. Um, it's pretty stressful. It's exhausting. After school, guess what time it is? Wait, lifting time. Who has homework tonight? Who's gonna be up late doing it? So, finally home from weightlifting. <laughs> Bet you can't guess what I have to do now. Homework, but that's okay. It's probably the best feeling ever to come home from school. After workouts, just super tired. You realize you have games tonight. Whoever decided it was a smart idea to start a tournament on a Thursday night needs to be fired from their job. It's gonna be a late one, guys. Gotta get that little pre-game snack. Never have time to eat. Pre-game jam sessions. Hi team. Hi. Bye team. Bye. Finally made it home. It is 11 o'clock at night. So I took my shower, finished all my homework. Guess what time it is? It's 1230. The next time one of your friends who is an athlete tells you that they are tired, they are telling the truth. Well, why do you do it? If you complain so much, why do you still play the sport that you play? We're willing to stay up extra late to do homework and we're willing to be tired. It's time for being. Peace out. Now you see what I'm talking about? Yeah, I guess so, but all of our students always come out to support our games, and I'm so excited for the homecoming football game tomorrow. Me too. Students must vacate the parking lot immediately after school in preparation for the football game. Football players, cheerleaders, wind dancers, band players, etc. Make sure to park your cars all in the sophomore parking lot. There will be lights on after the game, so make sure to not walk where there are not lights on. And students, we hope to see all your spirit at the homecoming game tomorrow where we will be announcing our 2018 homecoming king and queen. Have a great rest of your day and remember, please be safe and have fun at homecoming. Bye!